Yo there guys, what is up? Loot Games and today we are back in the world of Loot Games of my Terraria Xbox One Edition Let's Play. So, while I've been gone, I've just been doing a couple of things like mining and getting some crazy items such as this tattered bee wing. This is a 0.6% drop and I went to the jungle, I managed to get myself two light fruits, hasty vitamins which was out of the corruption biome. I also got Ancient Shadow Greaves from the, sh the Corruption Biome. I got myself the Tatterby Wings, uh, two Life Fruits which are going to be used now. These two Life Fruits were actually quite easy to find, so now we have two Life Fruits which is pretty awesome. And I also killed a Black Recluse and got a Celestial Poison Staff. So that that's pretty strong weapon to have, but it's, it's not really very effective unless it's like mobs like the Wyverns. Wyverns take a lot of damage from it, um, and things like the, uh, what, what's it called, the Year of the Worlds, and the upgraded one to that as well. So while I've been gone, I've got some Paladinian Bars. Which, we have got 51, but I'm not sure what to do with them. I think it'll be worthwhile making either a drill or a pickaxe. And I prefer pickaxes, so I'm going to go ahead and make uh, the pickaxe. Which, it's giving me a nasty one. As if. But yeah, it's giving me a nasty pickaxe. So that I'll replace our Warhammer of the Night. But, how many do we have? 36. So now we've got a Paladin pickaxe. I believe it's time to go and mine some of the new ores. What are they, all the NPCs doing? But yeah, while I've been gone, I've not really done much. I've got some lava here, some water candles. And today, what I want to focus on is killing the pirate invasion. And I've got a really, really good way to do it, which I want to show you guys. Uh, shout out to Happy Days. He was the one who actually did this. I'm going to leave his uh, link in the description. So yeah, go check him out. He makes some awesome AFK farms. Ooh, Mithril. So that's going to be very, very helpful. And I didn't realise it was only three... Gee, what? Oh, it's confused me. I wondered why I was going the wrong way then. Um, yeah, I didn't realise it was only three ores to make a Paladinian bar. I thought it was more than that for some reason. These giant bats are not going to go away, are they? Let's kill them. They're not too hard to kill. Just, uh... Just annoying to be there. But yeah, we'll, we'll continue to get this uh, mithril. And I think it'll aid us quite a lot. Because I've got massive patches around my map, literally. You should see all the chlorophyte in the jungle. I don't know if I can see it from my map. Uh, let's take a look if I can find any patches. I don't know if you guys can see any. But I've got huge patches of paladinium. Look, can you see like the square blocks? I think they're chlorophyte. Not Paladinium. Chlorophyte, sorry. Um, but yeah, the Chlorophyte is actually really good. And I don't know whether to make myself a new pickaxe rather than this Paladinium one. Or to stick with the Paladinium one. Because I don't think I'm going to need anything better than the Paladinium one for now. My god, a Corruptor. The Corruption must be spreading like crazy. See what I mean about it's effective? It can also poison mobs. So that's a, a, a really good way. I think all my world's getting corrupted. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not know corruption spread that much. Whoa. You can see the massive patch of Mithra over there. I'm just going to get the easy ones for now, though. What I really want is Paladinium, which there's some here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. Okay, we won't get that. We should have made the wings first before we went and done this, because now I'm probably going to die. Because I need better armor. Yeah, anyway, I need better armor, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make the wings while we're here. I think we just need to just be a workshop, is it? It's under this. Uh, wings don't actually show up there. And they also don't show up there, so... What is it that... Oh, yeah! I need a mithril anvil, don't I? I think it is. Mithril anvil. Can I, can I make one of those? Or, or, or a pallet... Uh, or killium anvil. Mithril ores, so if we go smell these into bars, we should be able to make ourselves a Mithril Anvil. Right, we'll go to the Howl Forge for now. And uh, there's going to be a new shiny item, isn't there? There it is. So we've got some Mithril bars, and to make a Mithril... Here it is. Mithril Anvil is actually 10 bars, and I've got exactly 10 bars. So, yeah, we can go make one of those. Is it just the normal crafting table you need to be at? Or do you need to be 
somewhere. Oh, you need to be at an anvil, okay? Fair enough. You need to be at an anvil to make an anvil that I've Pretty sure that's Anvilception. <laughs> but yeah, we've got ourselves the Anvil now. And now we can craft our wings. So I'm going to put that there. No, not there. Don't be silly. There. There we go. And now we've got our Anvil. We can finally make our wings. So I'm just going to go with the bee wings for now. Because I was super lucky to even get that drop. I only killed about three of the Hornet things that are in there. Uh, but, yeah, I just got them. I was really, really happy about that. So, our first wings are bee wings, and they're jagged. So, allows slow flight and slow fall. So, we should be okay to change it with our horseshoe. But look, I, that just does not look right. Um, I'm pretty embarrassed to be wearing these wings. Oh, my days. i uh, got a few things in here as well. So, I might... Be able to make the harpy wings soon. What is it that I need to make? Do I need any, like, giant... Is it, or is it just feathers? And if I need any giant harpy feathers, or if it's literally just feathers... Uh, where are they? Bee wings, demon wings, fairy wings. Fairy wings are okay. Demon wings... I could make some demon wings, I guess. They're, they're not too hard to make. I just need 25 souls of... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 25 souls of night. Which I've got one, I think. Wait, where are my souls gone? Are they on me? Yeah, I've got one soul of night, and I need more souls of... So, I'll probably get those, because the demon wings look pretty badass. So, you got to admit, who doesn't like demon wings? Comment below with your favourite wings. Personally, mine are flame wings, so I need a fire feather for that. But we need to go back down now, quickly. Um, and it should negate the full damage, right? I'm hoping it does. Because if it doesn't, I'm screwed. Actually, I think... I think let's just try it. We'll, we'll fall from a... a High-ish distance, but not a massively high distance. Because if... Just in case. I don't want to die when I do this, so... Now we've fooled for quite a long time. Yeah, so we're all safe. Just making sure, because I know sometimes the physics in Terraria are just silly. Paladinium's this way. There we are. Nice batch of Paladinium. This should get us a nice set of Paladino armor. I love these wings. They are so nice. Uh, I hate those. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got a... Oh, wow. Okay, then. I'll take it. I'll take it. Trifold map. Uh, if I keep getting all these things, I can... I got vitamins. got the trifold map. I can put them all together and make some of the things that negate damage. Awesome. I keep seeing to get quite a few drops recently from mobs. I think I'm just getting super lucky, you know. Oh, God, no, those funguses are deadly. Those funguses are actually deadly. Ooh, Soul of Night. That'll take me one step closer and two steps back. No, it'll take me one step closer to getting my demon wings because these bees... I, I'm embarrassed to wear these bee wings, to be fair. <laughs> if I'm wearing the bee outfit, it might look fine, but... Oh, God. Just, just die, please. Oh, no, the fungus spawns pretty badass, and then it's pretty strong. Oh, the fungus is stuck. Yes. Die. Uh-huh. Oh, God. We definitely need that new armor right now, guys. We need it. We need to go smelt our ores and make it into bar so we can get some of this armor, because we're not going to get very far without it. So hopefully my audio works fine now. I was going to post my episode on Wednesday. Realised that there was literally no audio for it whatsoever. So I was there. And I was like, where's the audio? And for some reason it just glitched. I don't even know how, what happened to it. So I think we'll stick with our book of schools now. Because once we fight the pirate invasion. I've got a very, very strong feeling that we're going to get the cutlass. So where are we? Making the armour itself. Which is in this one. Paladinian mask. The mask is melee, so I might make the mask. Headgear is magic. Let's make the headgear, because I am using magic stuff at the minute. So it'll benefit me a little bit more. Paladinian breastplate, and where's the... Where's the greaves? There they are. Don't know why that's just moved down. Oh, it's because it added more recipes, I see. I think it added more recipes anyway. And Paladinium Greaves. So, well, they're actually just leggings. 
Why are some things called leggings and some things are called greaves? Comment below if you know that. Why some things are called leggings and some things are called greaves? I honestly have no clue. I want to look different to this because the... Yeah, the B-Wings look okay with that, I guess. Look okay. Not, not really the best. This is going to give us quite a bit more defense and I'm hoping... Really hoping it does. So there we are. Look at that. I love the effect with the flame wings. That looks epic, by the way, guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and build this little farm. So we need to build it quite close to spawn because obviously mobs that you spawn in spawn close to your home place. But we need to make sure there's not many holes or anything when we do it because it's just going to be a waste. Just while I'm on the map, uh, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, I don't know. Should I make a flat area? Or should I just do it from the top? I should be okay to do it from the top. I don't know, though. Because if I do it from the top, um, let's... Actually, let's go to the left, because it's more flat on the left, I think. I, I don't know for definite, but I'm sure it's more flat on the left. Oh, I'm so happy to have wings now. You don't you don't know how much I was, like, pain, like, I was going through. Oh, I, like, literally. So glad to get rid of that horseshoe as well. Because that was one accessory that I just needed to get rid of, I guess. So this, this should be an okay place to do it, right? I think it should be. My, my, this, this pickaxe, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. So how much total defense do I have now? My total defense is 22. Not, not too bad. Oh, I need my... What am I doing? I need my axe. This is my axe. Why did I say it was going to replace that? I don't even know. <laughs> right, let's make it. So, the basic physics of this is that you, you, you make the block six high, I think it is. Done it again, haven't I? I'm such a noob sometimes. I always do that, though. I'll go to use my pickaxe, and I'm like, why isn't it working? And then I realise why it's not working. But yeah, all you need to do is, we'll mine this now, um, is this. I'll show you the easiest way to do it. I've got my stone here ready. Pretty much just going to duplicate, not duplicate, but copy Happy Days Design. You made a really basic one, so you can do this straight out of easy mode. Once you've got into hard mode, you can just make this. All you need to do is destroy one demon altar and be sure that you've defeated the wall of flesh, basically. But yeah, so what you want to do is make it one, two, three, four, five, six up and then leave one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So then just do another one there. And from here, all you need to do is mine it downwards. So then you hoik the enemies to you. Well, not hoik them, but you know what I mean. So it's really, really, really basic build. Anyone could do this. You can use any pickaxe because a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do it because I've not got this uh, pickaxe. But you can use any pickaxe you want. You can use any. I'm just going to use my pwn hammer for the example. And I'm going to do this. So happy days. If you're watching this, it does work. You can use it on console. Uh, the things do do it on console. So in your videos, you can explain it a bit more easier because people might get confused when you uh, say it don't work on console. But it does. So yeah, if, if you are watching this video, buddy, that is a help to you, I guess. And there we go. So this is exactly how you did it in the video. And we'll go down here. So we need to go get ourselves a pirate map in a minute. What's the effect on this, by the way? Greatly increases life regeneration after striking an enemy. Interesting. So, I get life back faster. That's that's really good. I've never really used Pal Paladinium that much. I used it for a little bit, but I never used the full set before. So, yeah, that's interesting to find that out. So, we need to get rid of this block. Actually, we're not going to get rid of that block. There we are. So, then we'll go one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, and then make sure that we have some room under here. All right, that, that's going to be, I need to make that one more down. So then you just mine this away. Sorry for stealing your design all the way. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I just love, like, copying the designs of your, you, your designs are so awesome, Happy Days. Like, literally... What is with all these slimes? They've all of a sudden just started spawning on me. Go away. 
Oh, while you're here, just give me a... Go away, man. So this this would be good just to farm normally as well. It's not too bad because things get trapped in it. All you have to do is trap yourself in here. So let's make sure that's like that. Get rid of all this. Just just, just block myself in a bit because it's really annoying. I love I love this. This Paladin R is epic. The effect is just awesome. So then we need to get some lava. And we'll put those in there. There we go. Just a little bit of lava. You don't need, you don't need two. I'm just going to put two in there just just because I am. No, no no special reason. So does this do it every time? Yeah, so once you hit an enemy, it literally just refreshes it like crazy. So I'm going to bin some of the rubbish that I'm probably not going to use. Actually, I might need buckets in the future. Um, but yeah, th this looks like it's working good. On Look, the flying enemies just get stuck. <laughs> it shouldn't get stuck because I know why what I've done. I've not done the top one. But while we're here, we might as well just finish this off. Uh, we need to go and get that chest, so we can't finish it off, actually. But let's put the platforms down. So we'll put one, two, and one, two. There we go. Put this here. And then the water candles should just go here and here. I've got some more water candles at home. You can also put one... On you. Ah, oh, so you just need to put one down then. So I can get rid of that. Yeah, okay. So you just literally sit there and all the enemies will come to you. I'm going to flatten the land out a bit as well in a second. Just so that mobs can get to me easier. Basically. And there we go. So I'm going to flatten this out a little bit. Yeah, you just literally hit them with dirt and it's really effective. Wow, I didn't think hitting them with dirt would be as effective, you see. Just block this off so mobs don't go there. Mobs shouldn't spawn under there. Whoa, I shouldn't put the water candles down, should I? <laughs> I should not have put the water candles down. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go back there in a little while. And it's basically just that, guys. That's that's the little trap that I want to show you. Again, shout out to Happy Days. Link will be in the description. Because he, he just makes some epic farms. And he actually has a load of stuff planned as well. So if you want to find easy ways to destroy the destroyer. Destroy the Eye of Cthulhu. The Brain of Cthulhu. You know, all, all those Eater of Worlds. To destroy If you want to see... AFK farms to kill those. If you just, you know, you just want to kick your feet back, watch some telly, just just have your trier on in the background farming for some stuff. Well then, he's your guy, really. He just makes some awesome mob farms. Uh, there's a couple of other channels as well that are doing Terraria. I don't know if Comic Corrupt Fight still does it, but I know he did a little series on it. Uh, Misty the Epic Ninja, Zero X Fusions, Carl Barker. Uh, go check all the people out in my um channel if you go to my channel page there's a list of people on the right which they have some awesome videos so my luck would increase you know you know i'd love if it gave me a uh, key mold i just love that if it gave me a key mold i would literally love this game forever like i would actually like i don't even know i'd just be so happy to get a key mold my health goes up so fast when i hit an enemy I should just literally... You, you could make some good farms with the uh, Paladinium. I don't know if the, any other armors have this effect, because I can't actually remember. But wow, that's that's actually pretty epic. So we're making our way to the... Ocean right now, just to go get some mobs. Ah, oh, no! Oh, I've got a bucket anyway. I just I forgot to bring a bucket of water with me. Uh, because you can aggro the mobs into you. Shout out Happy Days as well. <laughs> again. You can aggro the mobs into you. So, basically, that they think you're in the ocean, but you're not. And then you can stay one... You put one block either side and the, the mobs can't get you. So, here's my ocean biome. Um, should. Here we go, look. So, all I need to do for this is just do that and that. And, basically, the mobs think that I'm in the water. So, you can get rid of some of this underneath it. Just so that the mobs come up to you. Don't know why I'm complimenting myself here, but I just am okay. <laughs> oh, go away. I should have bought my water candles with me, to be honest. 
Because that would have increased the mob spawn rate, like, hugely. I need to get rid of this. There we are. And then if we just uh, mine this away, and go sit in here, they shouldn't be able to get it. They should still come for us. Don't know why they're not coming for us, but, um, yeah, they just don't seem to like us. But we're just looking for a map anyway, pirate map. So any mobs killed here will give us one. I think normal mobs actually count as well. So, yeah. I'm going to speed this part of the video up, guys. And I'll see you soon when I've got the map. Come on, just farming for a map. Just farming for a map. Dun, 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 dun. Just farming for a map. Mm -mm. Come on. Oh, we've got loads of mobs. Look at all these mobs. Woo! Ah, uh, no map, though. So anyway, guys, my luck has been pretty bad on getting the pirate map. I'm going to continue this tomorrow in the next episode. I'm going to do another episode after this. Um, and I'm just going to leave me farming now. And when I get the pirate map, that's when the video ends. So I'll see you then, guys. First of all, we need to place these water candles down over here. Okay, so we've got the water candles down and now we are ready. So... I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Stay frosty and peace.